He still doesn't know exactly how he lost that wallet, but I can tell you he lost a lot more than just that. He lost a good night's sleep last night because he was devastated, and then he probably will lose a little bit of sleep again tonight because he's been overcome with relief. That's a lot of money. $5,600 to be exact, and it was gone in an instant. I had it in my folder here, and I had it in that thing, and it must have slipped out. With his house on the verge of foreclosure, Wayne was desperate to pay off his taxes. But when he got to the Wayne County offices in the International Banquet Center in Greektown on Monday, they were closed. He got back to his office to find his wallet and all those $100 bills missing. I collected it for three months. Yeah, and it was everything I had. It, it was devastating to me. I thought, what am I going to do? He didn't wonder for long. On Tuesday morning, Wayne discovered his wallet had been found and left at the front desk, every dollar still tucked inside. But who returned it remains a mystery. It was put on this desk when the security guard had stepped away. For some reason, he was uh, distracted momentarily. When he got back to his desk, he noticed a wallet and some money was on his desk. With all $5,600 now returned safely. You won't believe where Wayne is keeping the money. <laughs> I put it in my bra. I put it in my bra. <laughs> he laughs now, but the tears are still fresh, and Wayne is convinced somebody was looking over him. Oh, they're an angel. <laughs> oh, angels are floating around all the time. They're all over. No, angels are everywhere. And we should mention that when we caught up with Wayne, he did have the money on him. He has since put it in the safe, got smart about that. But in the meantime, it still remains a question as to who this mystery person is that returned the money. Now, there is some surveillance video, and it is still yet to be reviewed. But Wayne is just hoping that somebody will come forward so that he can shake their hand and meet them in person. In Greektown, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News. Incredible story. And again, thanks to that angel. Smitha, thank you.